the hook. Take your YouTube videos to the next level with an overhead video booth. In today's video, I'm going to present to you the building of a Casey Neistat inspired wildly functional overhead shooting rig. My goal for this video is to blaze a trail and show you how to create your very own overhead shooting rig. Make yourself a dedicated workspace and video bench. Your very own personal YouTube set. I like to start with the why. The why is very important. This video here will teach you, hopefully with all of the detail and minutia, to be able to build yourself an overhead shooting rig. Why would you want to have an overhead video booth? Having an overhead shooting rig provides a new avenue for storytelling. Having quality light on your set makes a world of difference for your video content. Introductions. This is the Sparker Q channel. If you're new here, I do my best to entertain you and provide some quality and useful content. The content. Two at 96 for the deck, one at 93, one at 90, five at 21, five at 29. 4 at 34 for the legs, 4 at 45, 2 at 24, 6 at 21, 2 at 96 for the upper scaffolding, and 5 at 21. Top deck at 32 by 96. Yeah? That all landed? Yeah, you sure? Maybe I'll write it out for you. got the Casey Neistat inspired wildly productive overhead shooting rig uh, day two of assembly. So here we are at the Hornby Spark Makerspace. Make your tools. All right, we're in business. We've got some screws. Unfortunately, the screws we've got are salvaged like all the other things we've got that have made this thing happen. And they're actually too big, they will poke through. So in order to do that, make this work, we're gonna have to poke our screws through things at a rather acute angle. Acute, is that right? Come on, let me know down in the comments. Tools we're gonna need for the next section. So we've made this, hopefully, uh, flat on the deck or leveled everything out so that one side, oops, that one didn't quite work out. Uh, one side is all nice and flush and the other side is, it's not all nice and flush. I don't know if you can tell or not, but this is all made out of recycled material. <clears throat> That's right, genuine. Genuine recycled fire hall. This is what they made the new fire hall with. 
Uh, I'll do her. Okay, so. I'm gonna attempt to get this. That might square over the whole thing here. Yeah. Like it. Call it good. All right, I'll stick one in that corner. We'll stick one over in this corner if we like it. And then we'll go around and zap it in some fish. That's kind of like, it's probably a little bit overkill. But like they say, there's no kill like overkill. They say that, right? I'm pretty sure they say that somewhere. Got a deck on. All right, so next step, legs. Yeah, legs? So with our legs, these are our, what are they, 34? Don't sweat the little things. 24 from the backside. All right, so here's how we do that. We have a decided front and back that we like better. I think I like this as the front. Okay. This is going to be the front. Mm -hmm. Again, we've got flat side, hopefully, and a less than flat. All right, that means it goes like so.
no, it doesn't look so great at the moment. It's not, it's not um, super fantastic, but bear with me. I have a little, have a little faith. I think we may, we're still, it's not done yet is all I'm saying. But it looks so dodgy. Yes, my friend, it sure does. No bag of tricks is complete without a set of ice grips. super pretty but I believe it'll be functional one foot to the top Yeah. 
this. Today is tomorrow. Okay, so we got the basic deck done. We're all set here. We've got an actual set. The next question is, how are we going to mount our camera, all that sort of stuff? We got the lights. This here, rowing machine rail. And I was contemplating some way, somehow, of getting it, oh Jesus. Uh, in here in such a way that it could be uh, a way of mounting a piece of camera that you can move around. Me, 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 me. I don't know, um, we're creating a workspace, a workflow, a tools that you, the user, could make yourself in your own workshop. Anyway, um, that's where we're at. This is one idea. It does seem a little, well, <laughs> weathered, shall we say? Let me know what you think down below in the comments.
are we calling this thing? Casey Neistat inspired overhead shooting rig. DIY, DIT. I came across a new acronym just recently that I'd never heard before. DIT, do it together. So this here is my uh, DIT uh, overhead shooting rig. You know, when you look back at the footage and you go, ah oh, man, I skipped over some you know, important details there, missed out on some of the, yeah, the, the critical bits. So here we are, gonna go back over some of this. Um, this uh, rail here, uh, this rail is out of a rowing machine. So this rail is out of a rowing machine and this up top here, the uh, Millennium, Millennium Falcon here, is a chop saw base. Uh, cut the chop saw off there. Uh, and voila, we have two dimensions of freedom. It's not exactly a uh, live action movement. So still got a couple things, a uh, little ways to go here. Um, I got some hot spots to deal with. I'm not totally sure if I like the lighting arrangement here. Um, although for the, the space here, you got a really it's a pretty nice light. All right, folks, thanks for sticking it out to this point. I'm amazed that you've made it this long. I uh, paid a professional to get the measurements and uh, cut lists and diagrams, exploded views, shopping lists, uh, drawn out, and a nice printable PDF. So if you'd like to download a copy of this PDF, you can go to my website, sparkerq.com, and download your own printable PDF and follow along. Uh, support this channel and share your, your thoughts and your explorations with us here on YouTube. So thank you very much for following along and I look forward to seeing you in the, uh, in the future. Thank you very much. The ask. All right. If you find this video useful, go ahead and what do they say? What do the kids say these days? Smash that like button. Um, yeah, if you could, it would be really great. You know, help the algorithm out. Uh, click the like button, subscribe. It's only, it's only a click away and it's, uh, you know, it's a walled garden. Like, you know, subscribe to my content.